Hey, so in your quiz results for the single archetype, you got the golden go-getter. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that. I have a few notes so I stay on track. Otherwise, I'll have you here for ages talking about it and we haven't got all day. Um, so if you've not come across me before, I'm Jay Diamond. I'm a dating and love coach. And I help women like you, amazing, successful women like you have success in love. And we work on balancing strategy and energy together so that you can really attract a high quality partner who can really meet you. And we do that with clearing um, energetic love blocks by helping you to ignite your feminine power and really increase your confidence so you can naturally attract and keep your divine life partner. So the golden go-getter is often, when these when these women come into my world, they, we often do a lot of work first around bas basking, balancing their inner masculine and feminine energy. So the golden go-getter is often a woman who has achieved a lot. She knows how to make things happen. She's not a woman who waits around for permission. She's not a woman who waits around for people to tell her what she can and can't do. You know, she has a really clear idea of what she wants to feel, achieve, experience in this lifetime. She's a, just a really juicy woman with like getting things done and um, making things happen. You know, and but with with this, the piece that's often lagging behind is her connection to her own inner, authentic feminine. And in fact, me even saying that to some of the golden go getters um, makes their body tense up. They don't even want to hear it. They don't like hearing it, and they see it as instead of something to expand into and that gives them more. Sometimes some of those golden go-getters see feminine as weak, as um, less than somehow. They've taken that program in and they run with it and they see they, or they feel, whether it's conscious or subconscious, that if they were to expand into more of their own inner feminine, it means they're going to lose out. It means they're going to lose out on what they want, um, the life that they want to live. And so this is something that really needs to re be reprogrammed so that they can actually call in a partner whereby they're not the one that's doing everything all the time, where they can call in a partner that holds his own weight, that can really lead the way, someone that can really meet her. But when a golden go-getter doesn't know how to access her own inner feminine, it's outsourced to the type of men that she's pulling in. And she often feels actually un unhappy with that, unless she is very, very happy in a core masculine energy and she calls in a more feminine energy partner, then it's usually very easy and she's not having problems, right? So she probably wouldn't be here. It's when she's actually not tapped into the, the well of uh, power, feminine power that's in her and she hasn't yet learned how to balance her face and her femme. That's usually when um, these amazing women show up in my world. So the golden go-getter is often a woman who likes things how she likes it in her time frame. She's often a woman who makes all the suggestions. And, um, you, you know, it's like when you when you have a clear mind and you know what you want, you know where you want to go. You're the one who's organizing the dates. You're saying where you want to go. And actually, it, it kind of comes across sometimes as a bit of a backseat driver. You might not see it like that, but sometimes the people around you can see it like that. And they don't really want a backseat driver. And so this kind of can put things on a bit of an uneven keel. Now, one of the things where this disadvantages you is that because you're so used to picking up the slack, organizing teams, making things happen, you actually don't see for quite a while that maybe the person you're with isn't offering as much as you are um, and isn't trying to offer that either. So... It can actually kind of go in cycles where you meet someone, you have a really great time together, and then after a few months, this person disappears. So they enjoyed your energy, they like you, but they don't want to commit. And then they might reappear again after a while, then you have a great time, but then after a few months, they disappear again. And you go in these cycles of like three to four months with people, um, 
And this is because if you're if you're attracted and want to have a more masculine energy partner, you're taking up more of the masculine energy space than that person is comfortable with. And I know that's smarts and it's things. And some women can get very upset with me saying this, but I'm not here to be politically correct. I'm here to help you move forward and see the things that you're not seeing so that you can move forward. It's not about that you come across as a man or you're probably very beautiful, have a great body, are looking fantastic, but it's on an energetic level. It's like what actually makes the masculine energy person commit? You know, and even if you don't want to be in a relationship with someone where there's this strong polarity and they hold all the masculine and you hold all the feminine. If you want someone who meets you, you have to leave space for them to step up. You have to leave space for them to lead sometimes. And with the golden go-getter, sometimes she doesn't even know that she's doing it. It's actually survival mode. It's a survival coping mechanism. Hyper-independence. The woman who doesn't know that she can ask for support. The woman who only talks about the difficult stuff after the worst has happened. And that was me <clears throat> for many years is a coping strategy. And you might not even know that you're doing it. You might not even know that you can actually have more support. You don't know how to get more support. All you know is you're the one that's usually doing all the doing. Right? So... You have big goals and you're meeting them. You love the thrill of going for something and achieving it because you've got big ideas for your life. Like this is part of your soul as well. You've got big things to do in the world, you know. You're not going to be somebody's housewife. <laughs> and neither should you be because it's not your natural dynamic. You know, people are often astounded by how much the golden go-getter can actually do. And because people see you, you as very strong and very loyal, um, they usually come to you for support, but not everybody is there for you when you want support. You know, even the, the strongest of us, we still want strong arms around us to say, baby, it's going to be okay, I've got you. We still want strong arms around us, someone to kiss us on the forehead and say, I love you, I see you, you're safe with me, it's okay. You know, and sometimes with the golden go-getter, deep down she struggles because she's had difficult experiences in the past with men. Either, um, you know, with some of the golden go-getters I've worked with, they try to win their dad's affection by doing things that their dad liked. And so, and that's how they show up in relationship. You know, they show up in that more masculine energy and sometimes they get friend zone because of it. Or sometimes, again, they end up in this three-month cycle. Oh, my God, you're amazing and fantastic. But then they don't want to commit. And so it becomes very confusing. Because it's like, well, why are you saying I'm so fantastic and amazing? And then after a few months, you're like, oh, well, I'm not really ready. And, well, I don't really want relationship. And then maybe a few months later, you actually see them with somebody else. You might find that you have a lot of male friends. And you get on with men really well. And um, that's not bad. That's fantastic. And do you have the same level of connection with women? Is there something missing with regard to your feminine connection? So if, you, if you're kind of hearing, it's not you, it's me. I think you're great, but it's not the right time. You know, I know that we have a great connection. We have great sex, but I don't think I can give you what you need. This might be because you're in the golden go-getter single archetype. So... And also with this golden go-getter, things are so good in the in other areas of your life. You can get very much in the vibe of, I'm happy alone. I have a good life. And that's fine. You do have a good life and you are happy alone. But don't make that mean that you can't make space for somebody else. Um, because maybe there's some things about relationship that you haven't worked out yet. Okay. So here is some information for the Golden Girl Getter that can really support you. Learning the art of feminine and leaning back in relationship. If you want to have someone who really meets you, who gives as much as you, who wants to commit, who is as loyal as you are, 
it's really important that you allow yourself to let the man lead more than 50% of the time. Like even if it's 52, 56, 58% of the time, you've got to leave space for that because that's the only way you're going to see if they really want to commit and invest in you or they're just rolling along for the ride because of everything that you have to give and everything that you have to offer. You really want to start assessing not just from an, like an intellectual uh, points game, but from feeling, from being open, from giving space to see, does this person really want to give or are they just here for the ride? It's time to start looking at and addressing your control issues. Like where can you gain more support? Where do you need things to be the way you want them to be all the time? And what is the fear of going with the flow? What's the fear of going with the flow? Learn how to express your desires in a highly feminine way without expectation. Learning how to have open heart communication. I have a whole masterclass on feminine communication. You can ask me about that. Um, and it's communicating from the heart instead of the head. And especially for golden go-getters, this is important because you're used to operating from the mind up and from a place of getting to the goal and there's nothing wrong with that when you when you are in your goals but in your relationship it's just not going to have the desired effect in fact you're probably going to meet more resistance because you probably come across a bit more sergeant major than hot sexy girlfriend sorry but i'm here to help <laughs> and sometimes it stings um so one of the things that you can do as a golden go-getter is starting to practice Letting other people take the reins a bit more in your life in general, like having more say, having more direction, giving people space to provide for you, offer things for you, suggest things for you, going where somebody else wants to go for dinner. Um, and this is also so that you're not the one that's always carrying the emotional labor of everything, you know, the mental load. The thing with golden go get is you often end up carrying more of the mental load. And when you can shift your energy, shift your space to release more of that, you can have more fun, you can have more pleasure, you can have more relaxation, you can sink deeper into your body, your orgasms are stronger, all good things. So let people take care of you, you know, let people take the lead more. Um, okay, so one of the first, the first thing that will probably be really good for you, it's a really low cost class, is the five love magnets. This masterclass is going to teach you, or well, it's going to start to go into the masculine and feminine dynamic. It's going to start to show you why space, keeping that space is good. What um, actually ignites a man's commitment. It's going to be really good for you. And like I've had clients who just by taking this class alone have completely changed their relationship dynamics. But this would be a really good place to start perhaps. And then think about the communication masterclass and the the soulmate solution but start with those five love magnets and the link will be around here somewhere